Hello. Um, so today we're going to be talking about my topic and kind of reflecting on the semester as a whole for my final reflection. And I'd like to apologize if this is a little over four minutes because I feel like I have a lot to talk about. Um, so my um, challenge question was, how can we make Ruder Park um, a historic, already beautiful place more incorporated into the greater Lansing area and how can we make it more sociable and kind of a more economical driving area for the city of Lansing. Um, and so I, I kind of went through my, uh, you know, the model map of how to do that and it started with the about and it's about Ruder Park as a whole and we went over that. A, you know, it's a historic park, it's been there forever but it's been on the downcline lately. Um, so it was kind of like, how can we create a better area? So then I went to the define uh, stage, which was kind of topic research about the area and the history of it and the places around it. And, you know, we know that Lansing isn't necessarily the highest economical and, you know, money making area in the state of Michigan. And it hasn't been necessarily on the up as of late. So I was thinking to myself on how you could create a better park in that situation. Um, and then empathy. Um, this was more, um, you know, human-based, and I, and I learned a lot from my interviews. Um, and I interviewed my former um, social worker at uh, my old high school, who I still stay in touch with. And, you know, she kind of walked me through what people really, and I know this doesn't really connect to a park, but what people really want to see when they go out of their home, what people need in life to like get through, and that is a sociable aspect. So I wanted to incorporate a sociable aspect into this park. So then I went to the ideate, the, the brainstorming, and I thought of um, food trucks and pop-up shops and basically any event that you could host in Ruder Park to bring others together. So I then created my prototype and I have it right here. It's not you know, the most clear picture. I have a picture, I'll link it in the uh, description below, but it's the park as a whole as it is and it has, it has been since its creation. And then it um, has food trucks and pop-up shops. So again, just a way to bring people together um, throughout you know, the Lansing area and kind of incorporate this area back into Lansing. Um, then it was the test and evolution, and I got a lot of great, great feedback. And I'd say my main feedback point was create an event center. I had one uh, student respond to me saying that if you created a event center that would just bring more people to the area, and it's nothing big, it's not an eyesore, and it does not take away from the park. It's just a way to bring people to the area. And you know, I thought that was a genius idea, and I threw it in the prototype. Um, so how did your perspective on the class topic evolve as you work through the design thinking phases? Um, it just made me think even more and more, like through every single phase, um, especially when I got to the brainstorming phase and then the feedback phase on top. Like, not that wasn't my only you know feedback. I got a lot more, um, but I couldn't obviously add them all. So um, it was just a lot of thinking through each stage of the process. Um, how did your prototype change through feedback? I added a little more. And then um, some people were concerned that I would be taking away from the park's um, history and beauty. You know, everyone in this class knows about Ruder Park now, so nobody um, is uh, ill-informed on what this park has to offer um, from a nature aspect. And I also wanted to make sure that we do not take away from that. Um, evaluate your proposed solution or prototype. How well does it solve your challenge question? And my, you know, again, my, I'll go back to my challenge question. It was. You know, how can we use a, 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 a beautiful space to incorporate the people of Lansing? And again, that was having our normal park um, and then creating chops and food trucks to bring the people together. So um, I think that's how it uh, responds to my challenge question is adding certain features to bring people to the park. Um, and then my biggest takeaway from this class is kind of the way that you have to break down a challenge. I think before I was more, you know, there's a challenge and there's a solution that get it done. But it's a lot deeper than that. There's a lot more steps. There's a lot more phases through those challenge. Um, so 
it's kind of not just as this class as a whole, but it's life in general. Um, don't just act on what you feel. You know, go through the steps mentally, and then come up with a you know a, a fair way to to resolve your challenge. So it has really helped me with problem solving. But I have really enjoyed this class as a whole, and I feel that I've learned a lot.